Urban noise exists in our lives for many years but has never been so intense and pervasive as in the last decades. The densely populated cities of developing countries has increased the level of noise dramatically mainly due to the frequent use of transportation. Another problem that people have to deal with is time. Demanding timetables and long distances make the need for fast transportation more and more urgent. Let's assume that these problems can be quantified by simple relations. The trend of the problem could be twofold. The noise, our topic of interest, will be proportionally increased with the traffic and the same is happening for the transportation time. The big question is, would it be possible to reduce traffic jam by finding new ways of transportation? The answer is yes. Aerial vehicles like drones and urban taxis are the keys for solving the transportation problems. Packages delivery from e-shops, food companies or posts could be performed by drones. Emergency services for medical or safety reasons, as well as for the use of mass media. In modern cities, skyscraper roofs are almost ready to host urban plane taxis for quick and easy transportation. Okay. So now we solve the traffic jam problem and this sounds great, but aerial vehicle sound, is it great? No! These engineering applications partially meet the origin of their noise source nature in flow generated sound. Let's take a quadrotor drone as an example. The potential flow distortion produced around the supporting struts of the rotors interact with the rotating propellers generating loud broadband noise known as turbulence interaction noise. This noise is dominant and it can be found in numerous other applications such as in turbofan engines of planes. The question is, how can this noise be reduced? For one more time, engineers were inspired by mother nature. Owls are known for their characteristic silent flight capable of flying just inches from their prey without being detected. The secrets of the noise reduction technology stem from their wings, the complex geometry in the leading edge, the fluffy surface at the bottom side of the wings and the fridges on the trailing edge of the wing have been recognized as noise mitigation devices. In engineering applications, these technologies are translated as wavy leading edge modification along the airfoil span or the use of porous inclusions on some parts of an airfoil. But let's see how these devices reduce the noise. Imagine coherent vortices with rotational velocity of high intensity being blocked violently by their impeachment on the solid wall of an airfoil leading edge. This phenomenon leads to dominant sound. Now, comparing the straight and the wavy leading edge, sound pressure fluctuations are generated along the airfoil span in phase and with phase differences. This yields to dominant or reduced sound in the far field. The technology of the porous airfoil includes a rigid skeleton with a center plate with recessed edges filled with porous material. A smooth surface is ensured by covering the assembly with a wire mesh. The proposed structure goes to dissipate progressively the kinetic energy of the vorticity, combining a proper penetration of the flow, mostly related to the leading edge area, and ensuring a smooth flow path. Therefore, which of the two potential solutions promise better acoustic and aerodynamic efficiency? An experimental campaign for studying these devices has been carried out in the Laboratory of Fluid Mechanics and Acoustics in Lyon. We are in the supersonic and echoic open jet wind tunnel where important experiments related to jet noise and airflow noise take place. The Aeronautical companies from private and public section install at this facility their test benches for investigating their futuristic ideas. The acoustic signature of the airfoils has been obtained by measuring the three-dimensional features in Farfield using microphone arrays, while noise prediction models have been validated with the obtained experimental database. This parallel microphone antenna compute these noise color maps corresponding to the radiated noise stemmed from these noise sources. Flow measurements performed in Delft University in Netherlands provide characteristics of the flow around the leading edge. Results have shown encouraging noise reduction performances for both technologies, while maximum noise reduction obtained by the serrated flat plate. Nevertheless, according to the noise spectra plot, the quieter airfoil seemed to be the serrated airfoil where the thickness effect acts additionally to noise reduction efficiency. 
beamforming maps propose also that turbulence interaction noise reductions extend linearly over wider low and middle frequency ranges after subtracting trailing edge noise. This promises even higher noise reduction performances if the trailing edge noise can be reduced also. Aerodynamically, the porous airfoil presented slightly better performances compared to the serrated airfoil. This study highlights the importance of noise sources identification and subtraction from the total airfoil noise. Therefore, the idea of noise minimization of these two sources can be defined as an optimization problem. This time, a combination of leading edge and trailing edge serrations promise the maximum noise reduction performance, taking into account various designs by modifying the serration pits and depth. The optimization has been launched and its process is on progress for the optimum possible solution. At the same time, researchers throughout the world are working hard in order to deliver a better technological world to the future generations.